died, I wouldn't be able to go to your wake because I'd probably get hit that even though I want to go just to say goodbye. Life is short, you know? You never know when you get to say your last goodbye. And I haven't been a good person about it. I haven't been the best person about any of it. I would still go to say I'm sorry. But I don't want to wait till then. I don't want to wait. So I apologize for what I've done. What'd you do? I'm sorry for hurting you. How did you hurt them? For not being honest. What? Huh? I apologize for bringing years of stress into your life. Years of stress. I apologize for the past relationships, confusions, and so I'm not saying that that man is a narcissist, but if he is, he apologizes just like a narcissist would. And if you're new here, I'm a narcissist. I actually had narcissistic personality disorder. Uh, he listed off five apologies for things that he was sorry for, but there was no specificity. There was no specific situation he apologized for. I'm sorry for everything. I'm sorry for hurting you or not apologies, y'all. Those are just blanket statements to cover up everything that they feel like they've done wrong or everything that you feel like they've done wrong. I spoke to that woman and that man had been cheating for years with men and women. And when she decided to finally go no contact with him and cut him off, he started leaving these crying ass voicemails, making up just crazy scenarios about what happens if one of them were to die. Like if you died, I wouldn't be able to come to your funeral because all your friends and family know I treated you terribly and I, they would just look at me bad. So I playing the victim and he would be playing the victim at her imaginary funeral. And I tell people this to people all the time, y'all. Narcissists and toxic people will 100% absolutely manipulate you with their tears. They just will. And if you take the bait, if you give in to those fake tears and that fake apology, then you lose. They feel like they've won. They will come back into your life, be good for a little while, and then start back treating you badly again and again and again. The patterns will continue. I'm sorry for bringing you years of stress and the, the past relationship confusion. The past relationship confusion with this was this man actually cheating with women and men. And I think he actually ended up leaving her for somebody. And when she finally decided to cut him off, he blanked out and became obsessive and started leaving these crazy voicemails, which they typically do. It's not a true, genuine apology if you can't list out one specific thing that they're apologizing for. I'm sorry for everything. It's not an apology, y'all. I really, really hope this helps y'all. And in addition to all of that, on top of that blanket apology, he didn't care. He wouldn't care how your friends and family would feel about having him there at said imaginary funeral. So he doesn't care. He's still putting his needs above other people's in this. <laughs> it, it just... <laughs> It just blows my mind sometimes the way a lot of narcissistic people's minds work. That somehow they'll still be violating boundaries at, at your imaginary funeral.